Howdy, y'all. This is Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And I'm going to start a new section or category in my channel. And this is going to be predicting reactions. And we're going to have a series of episodes where I take a reaction and we predict what it's going to produce. And then we determine what kind of equation it is. And then we're going to balance it. And this is great practice, especially if you're taking AP chemistry. You will practice uh, predicting the products, writing chemical equations, writing net ionic equations, and using your solubility rules. You will need a periodic table. You are going to need a polyatomic ion chart, and you're going to need uh, your solubility rules. I'm going to make a few assumptions. First, uh, that you know how to name chemicals that you can recognize the types of reactions, that you know how to write net ionic equations, that you understand solubility rules. And if you don't understand any of these or if you're having trouble with them, make sure you go to my channel and check out my videos. All right, your assumptions will be, in all cases, a reaction will occur. Solutions are aqueous unless otherwise stated. You will uh, represent substances in solution as ions. And you need to omit Ions that are unchanged by the reaction. All right, let's review the how-to in writing chemical equations. One, you need to determine the reactants and the products. Then you write formulas for everything. You put the reactants on the left and draw an arrow. Then put the uh, products on the right and then balance. Now remember, you must omit ions or molecules that are unchanged by the reaction. Are you ready? Yay! All right. A strip of magnesium is added to a solution of silver nitrate. And the first thing we want to do is write the equation and predict the products. So first we have magnesium, and that's going to be Mg. And it's a solid, of course, it's a metal. And then we have a solution of silver nitrate. So there's our silver nitrate and it is going to be AgNO3. So we have magnesium and we have silver and nitrate. The two ions that are going to combine here are going to be the magnesium and the nitrate. But we also need to remember the charges must balance. So we're going to need to add another nitrate ion. And there's our magnesium nitrate. And we're going to have silver is going to precipitate out. And we realize that this, that's a single replacement reaction. Now let's balance it. Uh, remember to treat polyatomic ions as a whole. So we have uh, two nitrate ions and only one on this side. So we need to go ahead and make that two AgO3. Remember, you can only change the coefficients. You cannot change the subscripts once you write the formulas. Now we have two silver, but only one silver on the right. So we will multiply that by two and check everything and it's balanced. All right, so now we have a balanced equation. Let's jump over and let's write the net ionic equation. Magnesium and there's our silver nitrate. Write it all out as ions. Now we have some ions that are not changed or they are unchanged. So we'll cross those out. All the spectator ions are gone. And now let's rewrite it. Recap. You wrote formulas. You reviewed the rules for writing equations. You practiced writing chemical equations. You predicted the products. And you used the solubility rules. All right, if you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com and subscribe to my YouTube so that you know when the next episode comes out. Happy Islands, y'all.